Pastor Lord, I ain't never had no blood pressure like that. Tell him that she was praying for me. And I know God's in charge. And he will work it out. Yes, and, and, and let me ask you to pray for the sick and the shut in anyway. Let's pray for the young people. Yes. Pray for the children yes. that's going to school. Yes, people are snatching them up. Yes, they are. Can we love the children? Let's pray for them. Yes. If we don't pray for them, who gonna pray for them? Come on, love. It must be my child and your child. Yes. So let's pray for the children. Yes. That's the Lord will come to check for them. Pray for me as I go on with the Lord, because I'm full of the Holy Ghost and Delta. And get ready to go home any moment. Pray for me. Amen. Continue to 
pray for me. Thank God for another Wednesday night. Yes. This is called an evangelistic service. Uh -huh. The ministers are in charge of a Wednesday night yes. service. Yes. And we are glad for each and every one that is here in the sanctuary. And we're happy for the saints that are joined in on the phone. And at this time, we're going to get ready to turn this part of the service into the hands of the deacons. And they are coming to lift our offering. Yes, yes. Sister Doris A. Richard, 
blessing of the creek, it would be uh, Minister Charles Strauss, and then the presentation of the offering will come from Deacon Craig Christ. So we're asking that those people would be in their places to carry out the services unto the Lord. I also want to remind everyone about the flyers that are available in the gathering hall pertaining to uh, the mortgage burning ceremony and the installation service that will take place May the 21st for the uh, service. Also on the back of the program is a sheet. So if you're going to do an ad, all the ads must be in by April 30th. That's Sunday. It must be in uh, a certain format. Microsoft Word, Publisher, PDF, or JPEG. Also, if you turn in your ad, then please uh, attach your money to it. Full page is $60, half page $45, and the fourth page is uh, $25. And those ads uh, need to be turned in. Right. Right. You're going to email it, email it to the church, email at church, church at birdsimple.org. And then Sister Sandy Cordes will do her magic. So we're looking for everyone that can and will. I mean, it could, it could be a picture, it could be a scripture, it could be an inspirational saying, you know, whatever your heart's desire to put on your ad, uh, you can do that uh, for the booklet that we will have for the market burning service. So with that, uh, that concludes our announcements. All of our announcements are very important to us. Uh, and we ask that everyone please cover themselves accordingly to all of our announcements. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And it'll be a good idea if all of our buildings are involved. It's a good idea if all of our buildings to the ad in the book. Amen. And I omitted to say we give honor to Minister Burr, who did a fantastic job in the book. <laughs> Blew, 
and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it, and it came to pass. When Jesus had ended these sayings, And it come to pass when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. I want to use my thought tonight. Uh, I'm building a home. Oh, yes. I am building a home. Let us pray quickly, gracious Father. We come to you as an empty picture desiring to be filled. Lord, fill us tonight and bless your servant tonight as your word, oh God, comes through us and use us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, so that I can decrease, Lord, and you increase in our life tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May be seated in the house of the Lord. Uh, I'm <coughs> building a home. Oh, yes. Uh, we've had a wonderful time with the revival. And we are blessed uh, to have uh, had uh, Elder Harden come and bless us with the word of God. And I know I was revived. Can you clap your hands and say hallelujah? So I am talking about tonight, just for a short time, I will not uh, be uh, before you very long. I'm building a home. And I'm not talking about these dream homes that we have down here and that we can build, have built uh, on this earth. Uh, I'm not talking about that home, but I'm talking about my spiritual home, my heavenly home. Lord have mercy, we have to build our house. I know I'm working on the building, and uh, you're working on the building. Uh, and we sang that song, uh, I am working on the building. It's a sure foundation. I'm holding up the blood-stained banner for my Lord. And as soon as I get through working on my building, I'm going up to heaven to get my reward. Yes, I'm talking about working on the building. You know, and we've had a lot of funerals lately, and it brought my attention to uh, the fact that we are living every day of our lives. Thanks of God, we are living to live again and we're living for that particular day. Yes. Yes. The day that when all of us are when we are rolled up here. Uh -huh. And when we are too proud to speak. Hallelujah to God. And when we are gone uh, out of this well, present, we want that to be present. Yes. Absent from the body, uh -huh. but present with the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you see Jesus uh, is here teaching on the Mount 
about two types of hearers. Those that hear the word and uh, of Jesus and do them and do them uh, is like a wise man that built his house on a rock. A solid foundation. When the winds blew and the rain descended and the flood came and beat upon his house, it stood because it was built on a rock. We must be doers of the word of God. We mustn't be just hearers of the word, but we have to be doers of God's word. Can you say amen? Oh yes, we cannot just be hearers, because if we're just hearers of the word and not doing what the word says to do, then the rain will come and be upon that house and our house and we will be blown away because we are like the man who built his house on the sand. I want to say to you tonight that it is time for us to keep in mind how we walk and how we talk and how we treat one another oh lord have mercy we had a beautiful time sunday and i heard somebody testifying to the fact that uh, we should be welcoming welcoming the spirit of god that we had in the house on sunday Sister Jessica, she was talking about that she works with dead people every day. And it's just a blessing to be alive today. Hallelujah. Yes, it's a blessing to be upon this side of the dirt. Glory to God. And <laughs> so then faith uh, in the book of Romans, the chapter chapter. 17 verse, it says, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Though faith, we are kept by the power of God. We are rooted and grounded in the word of God. So when testing times come, when the storms of this life comes, when persecution comes, when the tests and trials and tribulations come, when sickness comes, our house will stand in the Lord. He is our peace. He is our joy. He is our comforter. He is our shield. Can we clap our hands and say thank you, Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm, the 18th chapter, Psalms, the 18th chapter, the first and second verse says, I will love thee, O Lord, by my strength. The Lord is my rock and my portraits and my deliverer, my God my strength in whom I will trust my butler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Then, you see, then there are those that hear the word of the Lord and don't do them. They are like a foolish man mm -hmm. that builds his house on the sand. Mm -hmm. And James, the fourth chapter, the 17th verse says, Therefore, 
to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him it is a sin yeah, yeah. for you see these people have rejected the word of God yeah. there is no foundation there is no stability and there was no truth to stand on so when the storms came and be upon his house, it failed. It was washed away because it was not built on the rock. The rock, the rock, the foundation. And Jesus is that rock. Hallelujah. Oh, 
story. Mark, the Gospel of St. Mark, 13th chapter, the 31st verse, reads Helen, and earth shall pass away, but my word. Somebody say my word. My word. Just the person next to you told my word. My word. The word of God <laughs> will stand forever. It shall not pass away. Yes, we have a rock to build our house upon. The rock of Christ Jesus. That song says, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on the Jesus' name, on Christ, the solid rock. I stand all around the sinking sand. Jesus said, is the firm foundation. Jesus said, is my foundation. I can walk, I can talk, I can tell about the story of Jesus. How he made me. He made me have what I am. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Can you clap your hand and say, Jesus? Jesus. Oh, can you say, Jesus? Hallelujah. I got filled with the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Oh God, let the world 
words of my mouth. Words of my mouth. The meditation of my heart. Be acceptable. Be acceptable. In, thy in thy sight. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. My, strength my strength. And my redeemer. And my redeemer. Be blessed. You are dismissed. Shake hands and be friendly. Glory to God.